Welcome back to Made Play Treasure. Today we're reading Great Migrations as seen on the National Geographic channel Butterflies by Laura Marsh. I love butterflies. When animals travel from one region or habitat to another, it is called migration. Animals migrate in search of food or mate. Migration helps animals survive on Earth. Many animals migrate. The monarch butterfly is one of them. Let's see these up close. These are the monarchs. Those are red crabs. And those are wildebeest. What insect is black and orange and flies the furthest of any on earth? You guessed it! A monarch butterfly! Monarch butterflies migrate 2,000 to 3,000 miles. They travel to the forests of Mexico from the United States and Canada and back every year. Since butterflies are so small, a mile is much further for them than for people. A butterfly's 2,800 mile trip is like a person traveling 275,000 miles. That's like walking around Earth 11 times. Two monarch populations. The western population migrates along the Pacific coast of the United States. The eastern population migrates east of the Rocky Mountains in the United States and Canada all the way to Mexico. This book is about the eastern population. It is winter in the Oyamel forest of Mexico. Clusters of butterflies make the trees look orange. There are so many butterflies, they could cover 11 football fields. Here, the monarchs rest and wait for spring. Here you go up close so you can see that a little better. In the spring, swarms of newly awakened monarchs cover the trees and fly through the air. Millions of monarchs are ready to leave Mexico. The female monarchs lead the butterflies north from Mexico. Their parents cannot guide them. They died soon after the eggs were laid. How did these butterflies know where to go? The monarchs know where to go by instinct. Sunlight signals them to migrate. Scientists believe that sunlight also helps guide them. Each year, the monarch's migration takes several generations. Three or four generations complete the trip north, but only one generation makes the return trip south. That means that if you started the journey, your great, great, grandchildren would finish it. How does that work? The first three or four generations live two to six weeks as adult butterflies. During the spring, the first generation hatches in the south. They fly north as far as they can. Then they lay eggs and later die. The second generation continues the journey and lays eggs and dies. The third and sometimes fourth generations hatch through the spring and summer. They finish the journey north. At the end of the summer, a special super generation hatches. These butterflies live six to nine months, much longer than the generations before it. In the fall, when it gets colder in the north, the monarchs fly south. They fly all the way back to the Oyamel forest in Mexico. This takes about two months. It is a long and dangerous journey. Predators. Migrating butterflies make a delicious snack for many predators. To keep any maze away, monarchs have built in protection. Milkweed has toxins in it. When a monarch caterpillar eats milkweed, it makes their skin poisonous. It even tastes bad. This keeps predators away. But some predators can withstand the toxins or feed on monarchs without eating their skin. Cold temperatures. Monarchs need warm temperatures to fly. When temperatures get too low, monarchs will die. 
Butterflies flock to the trees for shelter during high winds and rain. They cannot fly during bad weather. A rainstorm with low temperatures killed as many as 250 million monarchs in Mexico in 2002. An estimated 80% of the butterflies died at one of the mountain sanctuaries. Did you know that migrating monarchs can fly up to 30 miles per hour? That's about three times faster than we can run. Monarchs usually fly 50 to 100 miles a day when they are migrating. But the furthest recorded monarch travel is 265 miles in one day. Woo! That's tiring just to think about. Scientists learn about monarchs by tracking them. Small tags are put on monarchs' wings. If a tagged butterfly is caught, the tag number, date, and place are entered into a website. Then scientists know how many miles the butterfly flew. They also know how long it took. You can help tag monarchs, too. In the winter, monarchs rest from their long journey. They wake in the spring, lay their eggs, and die soon after. When the eggs hatch, a new first generation begins again. This generation will start the journey north. There are four stages in a butterfly's life. Egg. A mother butterfly places her eggs on a milkweed leaf. A tiny butterfly egg is the size of a pinhead. This stage lasts four days. Caterpillar. A tiny caterpillar hatches from the egg. It eats milkweed all day long. In two weeks, it grows from less than a quarter inch to two inches long. Chrysalis. A caterpillar sheds its skin and a hard protective coating is formed. This is called a chrysalis. From outside, it appears that nothing is happening. But inside, the caterpillar is transforming into a butterfly. This stage lasts about 10 days. Stage 4. Butterfly. When the chrysalis opens, a butterfly is born. The butterfly comes out head first. Its wings are small and crumpled. The monarch pumps liquid through the veins in its wings to enlarge them. The butterfly's veins stiffen about one hour after it comes out of the chrysalis. The monarch is ready to fly. When monarchs are in the caterpillar stage, they only eat milkweed plants and they eat a lot. Adult monarchs eat the sweet nectar from many different flowering plants, including milkweed. The nectar gives the butterflies energy to fly. Ten cool things. The highest recorded monarch sighting was at 11,000 feet. Their green chrysalis looks as if it's beaded with gold. An adult sucks nectar and water through its straw-like tongue called a proboscis. Their bright colors warn predators they are poisonous. When caterpillars become too large for their skin, they shed it and grow new skin. Predators kill 15% of the monarchs in Mexico every year. Adult females have wider veins on their wings than males. Though strong enough to fly 2,000 miles, a butterfly weighs less than a paperclip. A newly hatched butterfly has to wait for its wings to stiffen before it can fly away. And scientists think monarchs have been migrating for thousands of years. Humans love monarchs, but they can harm them by accident. In the forests of Mexico, many trees where they live have been cut down. This is called deforestation. Monarchs need trees for protection against wind and rain. Deforestation is a big problem for monarch butterflies. Monarchs are also losing their milkweed. People use chemicals to stop it from growing. They see milkweed as a harmful weed. Monarch butterflies can't live without milkweed or the forests of Mexico. Humans and monarchs need to learn to share the earth. There are many ways to help monarchs. Tagging butterflies is one way. You can also plant a butterfly garden. This gar special garden gives monarchs a place to rest feed, and lay eggs so they can continue on their amazing journey. The end.
hope you like this book. And remember to like and subscribe so you can keep up with our reading events and activities. Catch you next time on Make Play Treasure. Bye!